So, a few people have been wondering why I'm switching from Duel Links over to the Hearthstone and trying to be competitive in Hearthstone instead of Duel Links. Well, here's five reasons for you. What is up, whammon and gentle whammon? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. But let's go ahead and jump into the subject for today, and that's the five reasons why I am going to stop taking Duel Links so seriously and focus more on Hearthstone instead. Um, so a few months ago, I got back into Duel Links um, because of the whole quarantine situation. I wanted to be able to still play Yu-Gi-Oh competitively, but didn't want to like play on Dueling Book because I don't. It, it just didn't appeal to me to play on Dueling Book and YGO Pro to try to be competitive with the game. So I picked up Duel Links. Um, I was having a lot of fun with it, but over time I got kind of burnt out on the game. And a few things happened, and I just started thinking about it and comparing the two games, you know, Hearthstone and Duel Links. Um, so reason number one why I've decided to focus more on Hearthstone is I was having a lot of issues trying to convert my Duel Links account and bring it over and sync it to my Steam account. So the story behind that is about the time where Duel Links first came out. My wife and I shared a Steam account because we only had one computer capable of playing games on it. So it didn't make sense to have multiple Steam accounts on one computer. But now we have two computers fully built, ready to go play games on. So we need two separate Steam accounts that way if she's trying to play like Destiny and I want to play Duel Links, I don't have to kick her off of Destiny to record a Duel Links video. It's not fair to her. Um, I tried to email Konami about the situation. Um, and apparently a couple of months ago, they had changed their policy over to where you can only link your Duel Links account to one Steam account. Which I understand because you, they had people uh, pretty much... Uh, linking and unlinking accounts all the time and like there was people buying accounts and stuff like that and they didn't want that in the game and I get that but for like situations like me where I was offered uh, I sent them an email I was like hey this is the story this is what happened is there any way I can link it to my new Steam account I get the generic robotic response from them the first time I reply again is there any way that I could pay a fee or anything I get the exact same email copy and pasted and sent back to me agitatedly I shouldn't have I sent an email saying, can I get a response that's not robotic and just a copy and paste from the last time and just explain to me why you all are not doing this? And I got a little snarky, but yet still copy and pasted version of the previous messages. So that's one reason. Uh, reason number two is I feel the cost to play the game competitively is way too high. So the way Duel Links does its boxes is you have like 64 packs in the set i believe and then you have four different ways you can buy packs you can use gems which you can grind for in game which take a really long time um, when you first start out you can get gems easy but the longer you play the game the harder it is to get more gems um so you can grind for gems and then pull packs over and over and over and over and over until you get the ultra rares because normally in in dual links most of the good cards that you need are ultra rares so you have to dump a lot of money into the game to get it just the way the pack the boxes are designed because you'll have like commons that have like 15 copies in, the, in there in a box and then one ultra rare in that box and it just like i didn't like the way that dynamic was i think like one pack was like two dollars uh three packs was five and then like five packs was like ten dollars or some shit like that um and then there was like certain sets that would come around. Um, they don't let you buy one structure deck with gems. You'd have to use real money to buy the other two because most times when you buy a structure deck, you need three copies of the structure deck. Um, if you're going to implement a system in the game to be free to play, you shouldn't limit them to only one purchase of a structure deck, in my opinion. If you're going to give out structure decks, um, you shouldn't make it to where you have to pay money. If you're going to give us an option of free to play let it everything be capable of getting free to play it may take forever but at least the options there and that leads to the other issue i had with the cost to play dual links was there was a certain set 
that only comes around during the KC Cup, and you have to spend money on it. You only get one. You get one pack for free. You get to pay the 100 gems and get one pack. I'm pretty sure it was one pack, and that's it. Um, and there's, it's just way too expensive to buy packs in that game. Like you just waste money for no reason because like you'll buy a pack and you'll get a bunch of supers or not a bunch of supers you get a bunch of rares and then you're like Ugh, why did i just wasted three dollars on this that i can't even like do anything with um whereas in hearthstone everything is capable of getting free to play except for the solo adventures you get the intro to the solo adventures and then you have to pay for the other ones which is fine because i think they're only like five dollars they're super cheap um, and then this issue kind of ties into the next one that I'm going to talk about. There's no return on your investment. So you invest all this money into dual links and you get a bunch of duplicates with, uh, like from where you're opening so many packs, you get all these duplicates, but the only place like you can trade them into the card trader to get a few selection of cards that aren't even that good. Like most of the cards you get from them aren't even good. They're not worth anything. Most people don't play in the decks. Like at that point, I was just literally going through and just getting all the cards just to clear them off the list to have a play set of each one or have one of each one just so I can just trade them back to the card trader in case I need something. Like there's been maybe one deck. There's uh, Aromage was a decent deck you could pick up from the card trader, but why? It's not. You'll get to your legend ranks, but you'll never make your king KOG with it. You'll never get your king of games with it. Well, you might if you're really good, but I'm not that good, evidently. But you got no return on your investment. Whereas with Hearthstone, any card you buy, you can break it down into dust. So like the way the dust system works in Hearthstone, every card has a dust value based on its rarity. So like commons, I think, are like 10 dust, 10 to 20 dust or something like that. You spend a small amount of dust to create the card. Any card in the game. You can turn your dust into any card of the game. And you can turn any card in the game that you own into dust. So it's kind of like... They, they're kind of similar in that aspect. To where you can convert a card into a certain material. Like in Dual Links you convert... If you have a duplicate you can convert it into... Say a common token. And then so much gold. Hearthstone converts everything into dust. So you don't have to have like 20 freaking things of legendary uh, symbol things to convert it into a legendary card. Whereas in Hearthstone, legendaries are 1600 dust. And you can convert any card you don't need into dust. So if you need like one card to finish out your deck, you can just go through your collection and be like, I really don't need this, 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 and this. Convert those to dust and then turn around and buy the card. I mean, yes, you get price gouges when you convert your stuff to dust, but if you're not using it anyways, then what? why does it even matter? Because you can that's a renewing currency that you can turn that into any card that's ever been printed into the game, as far as I know, especially since they added in the wild stuff. I think that's a lot more efficient than giving us a select card pool in the card trader to only get these 15 to 20 cards. I'd rather be able to have access to every card in the card pool than have a list of 50 cards that isn't worth anything. That's not going to be help me in my deck. Um, one thing I liked about Duel Links, though, they gave you the uh, tickets. And the tickets were nice because they were literally just like free. Get this card, get this card. But the only ones that were worth anything were the dream tickets. And you rarely get dream tickets. But, so that was points two and three. Um, point number four, the grind is dual links is ridiculous. There's so much for you to grind at dual links to get gems, to get characters. And a lot of it just is really annoying and time consuming and not being able to play it on the computer and, and only being able to play it on my phone got really annoying just because like, well, I got to pull out my phone and stare at dual links forever when I could be in a party with my friends on Xbox chat or a Steam or on a Discord talking with my friends at least. Oh, I'm grinding and I could play with them. That way, I just, I didn't like the amount of grind they put in to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links just to get like characters and certain items you may need for the game. I just didn't like that. And then skills is a whole nother thing. Um, the grind for skills is absolutely ridiculous. 
Um, if you need a certain skill, it's randomly given through to you by leveling up and playing in rank. I don't like that. Whereas in Hearthstone, you have all your characters, you have all the skills, you know what each character does. It's a lot. It's a lot lower learning curve to learn everything in Hearthstone than it is in Duel Links because there are so many different uh, skills in Duel Links. It's just astronomical. So the learning curve is way up here and the price is like way, way higher than it is in Hearthstone. Where in Hearthstone, you just got to learn the decks, what's relevant in the meta, what cards are relevant. Um, you know what each hero does, so you know what to expect, and it's more of a back and forth kind of game, whereas in Duel Links, you have you have your meta, and most of your meta is defined, and you know what skills normally they're playing, and what characters play what, and that. But what I mean is the ability, when you have to grind to get a certain skill for a certain character, so you can play a certain deck, and by the time you get done grinding for that certain skill, that certain character, in that certain deck and you get it almost complete and then it gets hit on the ban list if you're trying to free to play it's just i just don't enjoy that whereas with hearthstone i came back into the game the new demon hunter class was out i wanted to play it i looked up a relative build of it i dusted some old cards that i had built the deck put it together and then i've just been slowly grinding and i've been getting packs because every three wins you get with hearthstone you get 10 gold and that gold you can transition to buying packs so it's like the gold in hearthstone is like gems in duel links except the fact that it's only 100 gems it's 100 gold to get a pack whereas with duel links it's 50 or 100 gems to get packs but it's a lot harder to get gems in duel links than it is to get gold in hearthstone because every three wins you're guaranteed 10 gold so with hearthstone so you're, you're going to be getting that money. It's going to be coming in. And you get that gold from anywhere. You get that gold from quests. You get that gold from playing ranked, from casual, from playing in the arena. You can use your gold to play in the arena to get more cards. Um, you get that gold from playing in the tavern brawls, which are just fun games. It's really enjoyable to play tavern brawl. And if you're trying to grind for gold, that's honestly the best place to go because you don't have to have a lot invested into a deck. You can just play... Play Tavern Brawl, grind gold, pull packs, play Tavern Brawl, grind gold, pull packs. And like, you don't have to invest any money into Hearthstone. It helps, it makes it easier, but you don't have to. When I played before, I never invested money. I've invested like $3 into the game so far. No, $4 into Hearthstone since I got back in it. And I've got a relatively decent deck. Like, I feel like I can compete and this month I'm really going to push for my Legend ranked. I think I can get there. Whereas with Duel Links, I had invested so much time and money into the game, and the farthest I made it was Legend uh, 3. I never made KOG. I mean, sure, I only played for two months. Granted, I only played for two months, but I wasn't seeing the return on my investment. I invested a lot of money. I feel like $200 is a lot of money to be investing into a game to see zero return. Get what I'm saying? Because, like, I invested, initially invested... $30 to buy the Gladiator Beast structure deck and get started in the game. And I got the same results with Glads as I was getting with Thunder, which was one of the best decks. The only difference between Thunder was I didn't have Levianeers because it was locked behind a paywall in the KC Cup thing. And when I started, it was before at the end of the last KC Cup. So I wasn't focused on getting Levianeers. I was focused on getting a deck to get started. Whereas with Hearthstone, I invested $4.00 some packs just to open some packs and see what i got and the rest of the deck was pretty much built off of free to play and i'm doing well i'm already halfway to gold if you can't see from the background gameplay we're already halfway to gold we're at, in this part of the video we're at silver eight so i'm getting a lot more return off of my investment with hearthstone is what i'm trying to say um, and the grind, there's a lot better rewards, in my opinion, for grinding in Hearthstone because you don't have so much stuff you have to try to unlock, as in characters, skills, uh, cards. There's a, Where in Hearthstone, all you're grinding for is you grind for gold to get you packs, which get you cards, and then you play. Because you convert the excess cards you don't need into dust to buy you the cards you do need. Whereas in with 
duel links you grind you get all these gems you buy cards your cards are worth you trade your cards into the card trader and then you get like some meh cards back i think the only card i did gotten from the card trader was maybe like kiteroid and that was the only card i got from them that was actually useful for me i didn't build a row mage but i got a buddy of mine who's playing a row mage and is doing phenomenal with them but i just i don't feel like you're getting enough return for your grind return on your investment and the cost of play is way too much and then the final reason i'm making the switch from dual links to hearthstone is honestly because i don't like the banless system i like the rotation system more um, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a number of years now, and the Banlam system, in my eyes, is atrocious. You're, it creates a point in the game to where you're constantly power creeping everything, and it just gets ridiculous. Like this, as I've been able to sit back and look onto the game of Yu-Gi-Oh through this whole quarantine, it's just gotten so ridiculous. It's not enjoyable to play anymore. You're constantly dumping money into new decks because they gotta keep power creeping everything. That way you keep buying new stuff. Whereas with a rotation system, <clears throat> cards will come in and out of rotation. So like with Hearthstone, I know when my cards are gonna be done. So I know when a set's gonna be rotating out and I won't be able to play them in standard anymore. And then I'll have to play the new set. But Magic's been doing this for years. If a card comes out in the new set that was out in the old set, I can still use the old card. I don't know if Hearthstone does this, but I know Magic does, and I like that system. I like being able to look and see, okay, well, this set's getting ready to rotate out. I need to focus on getting these sets, or is there any cards in here that I need to have for, say, a wild deck so I can get it now and not have to waste dust on it or stuff like that. Like, I like being able to know exactly when a card is going to rotate out. And if there is an issue with a card, they go through and they'll patch and they'll update and they'll nerf a card. If it's like a problem card, they're not more than willing to go in and errata a card and fix it, and, but you get to keep it. And if they errata a card and you say you don't want it, you can convert it to dust for the full dust cost. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I can. you can just convert it for the original dust cost of that card. But those are just my thoughts and opinions and kind of the reasons why I decided to switch from Hearthstone over to Duel Links. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any suggestions or if what's your opinion on it, Honestly, tell me what you think. Would you rather play Duel Links or would you rather play Hearthstone? What do you find more enjoyment out of? I enjoy both games. Like, I really enjoy Duel Links because it takes you back to old school Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not like... It's not this crazy, like, you link five and then you do all this, like, crazy 30-minute turn. It's more nostalgic for me than anything so that's why i enjoy dual links but there's just so many reoccurring things that aggravate me about the game that i'm just not going to invest my time and money into a game that i'm not that i'm getting burnt out on and not enjoying whereas with hearthstone i don't have a lot of those issues a lot of those issues have been resolved i'm just enjoying my time playing the game but yeah guys that's pretty much it um those are the five reasons why i've decided to stop taking dual link so seriously and focus more on the hearthstone um you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know your opinions um tell me whether or not you which game you play what do you play do you play hearthstone or do you play dual links or do you play both it's perfectly acceptable to play both in my opinion um but yeah, guys, that's all I have for you this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please stay safe out there. Peace.